Does this celebrity need a hair system? Welcome back to Hair System DIY, guys, your go-to place for insights, advice, tips, tutorials, and of course, my own personal insights. And today, I'm gonna to be offering you some insights on this guy, he's a celebrity, he's been trending quite a bit in the UK at the moment. Personally, I'd never heard of him, but my wife is a massive fan of Love Island, I'm too old for that. For my American viewers out there, a Love Island is basically a reality TV show that's based in the UK that happens every summer. They match these guys and girls and they just film them basically fight, argue, create tension. And sometimes people end up getting married from it. But anyway, there's a guy on it this series that has blown up the internet in the UK. Why? Because of his hair, or should I say lack thereof. So this guy, he wears hair fibers, okay? So he wears hair fibers and he is wearing it on TV, on Love Island. And I thought this was really interesting because as many of you all know, hair fibers can be really problematic in water. So if you're going swimming, if it starts raining, the hair fibers start streaming down the side of your face and it can look really silly. Now, in the actual series itself, they didn't show him having showers. They didn't show him swimming or anything like that. But it sounded like the upkeep was absolutely mad. And I'm going to show you a clip from this podcast that he's been on since where he discusses his experience wearing hair fibers in the Love Island villa. From your side, mm. what, what is the situation with the hair? So my hair, like my hairline, if I ain't got this powder in, my hairline's back in meal cot. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that bad. But, I've, but just... I've, I've never seen you without... Yeah. So what is it you so use? I use like a topic fibre. Like a hair so, fibre? Yeah, so obviously when I wash my hair and that, it's like nothing. So like my hair, my hair's there, obviously. Yeah. But like it just fills in like the little gaps and that. So, so what is it? Receded back? Yeah, so these bits are like quite far back. Do you know what I mean? So they're not that far, it's not that bad, but I just, I've always used it for the Because life. they never showed you doing your hair and they never yeah. showed you, like, in the shower. Yeah. Is that because, did you ask them not to show it? No, I, like, I didn't, I, everyone I spoke to about it, like, boys and girls. Hair is thinner than it was, do you know what I mean? And I know it, like, bothers him and people just get on, like, if I post a picture that, oh, his hair looks thinner, it's, it, it feels like there's a weird social norm to, like, mock men's hair loss, yeah. which, like, you definitely wouldn't mock a woman no. if they're alopecia well I hope you wouldn't so I feel like it's something that it's actually kind of good to bring awareness to it and I think like so like I say so many people relate to that I think it opens up like doors also for other people like I haven't got strong barnets of, of doing stuff do you know what I mean yes hair systems every couple of weeks uh, you have to rebond them and clean them. But this guy with his hair fibers, he was having to do that multiple times a day. It takes so much time. It washes straight off when you're in water. You don't have that with a hair system. It's it's much lower maintenance and also it looks better. My wife also showed me some clips from Love Island where you could see that his hair looked really silly because he'd kind of missed the hairline a little bit when he was reapplying the fibers. I think he used Topic. Uh, which is a brand of hair fibers. I used them back in the day, but they don't stick very well. And you have to get the hairline just right. Otherwise, it looks really silly and it can get super messy. So in my opinion, this guy would really, really benefit from getting a hair system or just getting a hair transplant. Just anything that's not fibers. I really don't buy into the whole fiber thing unless you've got literally minimal hair loss and you're okay avoiding any sort of rain unpredicted event or a swimming pool. It just seems way too high risk, way too high maintenance. And the last thing I'd like to touch on within this video was they were talking about there is a stigma around hair loss and guys, they kind of get mocked about it still. Whereas a woman with alopecia would never get mocked about it. A woman who gets fake eyelashes or, you know, hair extensions do not get mocked for it. And there's still that sort of attitude, this attitude, this very antiquated approach to men's hair loss is a source of mockery. It's a source of humiliation for the guy going through it, despite how common it is. And I really think that this needs to change. Hair transplants are becoming a lot more accepted in day-to-day -day society. However, hair systems, I still think they've got a long way to go. Attitudes really need to change. They're getting there. I think with the realism of these things, with the realism of hair systems, they're getting better and better year by year and people are becoming more open to it. Also, if you don't have a massive budget to work with or you don't have enough donor hair or you don't have enough money to potentially get another hair transplant a couple of years down the line, I know hundreds of guys who've had to do that. Consider getting a hair system. I've been wearing one for six years now. It works like a treat. 
This one is from Le Vivid Hair. If you're interested in getting that, don't forget my 15% coupon code. This is a full thin skin base. And I can tell you right now, it beats hair fibers hands down every day of the week. You can shower in this thing. You can go in the swimming pool in this thing. You can deal with unpredicted events in this thing. You can do none of those things with hair fibers. Now, what do you guys think? With this celeb, do you think he should just shave it all off? Do you think he should stick with the hair fibers despite all of the pitfalls? Or do you think he'd probably just be better off with a hair system or a hair transplant? Let me know in the comments box below. If you found this video particularly intriguing and you're interested about other celebs, check out the video I made about Malcolm in the Middle. Frankie Moon is, he's got a hair system itself. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. He's now a NASCAR driver. That video is popping up on the screen right now, so you can check that out. If you're enjoying my content and you wanna help this channel grow, please do subscribe. It can help more people find this content. And I promise that the bigger that this channel grows, the more content I can make for you guys. Take care, till next time, bye for now.